hi there. Finally, we got around to make another video after a longer break. We also finally got around to buy the proper camera stand, so expect some playing around. Okay, in this video, we'll start to explore the so-called rep chemistry. Professor Walter Rett was a German chemist who was the leader of the research laboratories at BASF, that's the Bodice and Alienbund Soda Fabric. Focusing extensively on the chemistry of acetylene or ethyne, he was able to produce a large array of organic building blocks from acetylene. These include acetaldehyde, vinyls, benzene and cyclocatetrine. This revolutionized the field of ethyne chemistry, because he was the first one to be able to handle ethyne under high pressure without explosions and explosive polymerization. Okay, let's take a look at the acetylene molecule first. As you can see, it is the simplest alkyne, comprising two carbons connected via an sp hybridized bond and two hydrogen atoms. If we arrange three acetylene molecules like this, you can easily see how the benzene molecule will be formed. One major reason why this reaction works is the aromaticity of the resulting benzene. We can achieve this reaction easily by passing acetylene gas through a red-hot quartz tube and passing the resulting gas stream through a condenser. Let's get started. We decided against using lecture bottle as a acetylene source, so the only chemical we are going to need is calcium carbide, or more correctly, calcium acetylide. When this is treated with water, acetylene gas is liberated. Just as a reminder how calcium acetylene reacts with water. The apparatus is assembled as follows. On the left side, we have our standard gas generator set up with calcium acetylide in the round bottom flask and water in the addition funnel. The evolved acetylene gas is purified by passing it through a solution of sodium plumbite and an acidified copper sulfate solution. This removes hydrogen sulfide and phosphine gas from the acetylene. It is then dried by passing it through a drying tube filled with calcium oxide. The purified acetylene gas is then passed into a fused silica tube with an inlet of quartz wool. The escaping gases are then condensed with a dimerose-style condenser, while the remaining gases are burned off. To begin, the apparatus is first flushed with argon gas to displace any oxygen gas in the apparatus. After a few minutes, we slowly begin the production of acetylene gas. The quartz glass tube is strongly heated with a burner. After a while, an oily liquid starts to condense in the small flask. This procedure is then conducted until all the acetylene gas has been liberated from the calcium acetylide.
Hey Ray, the product. A terry, oily mass with a strong benzene and coal tar smell. This could be distilled and purified, but benzene is pretty cheap so we won't bother. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.